looking at, who we're seeing, uh, and what's going on. So why don't we start with our main character? Rooney's team is missing. You can they talk went over to investigate I can talk over the, okay. hours ago. Yeah, so this is Jessie Faden. She is a them. young woman Careful, who Jessie. has come to this secretive government agency known as the Federal Bureau of Control, right. which is in a skyscraper, with huge windowless skyscraper in New York. Not, a, not scary at all? Not scary at all. No, she's. I think she's very brave uh, for doing this. And um, the second she gets there, some stuff goes very, very wrong. There's this uh, thing called the hiss that attacks the bureau and kills its former director. And through a ritualistic process, Jessie, who is there for a job interview, gets a little bit in over her head and she becomes the new director. And now she has supernatural abilities and she has this service weapon that you'll see her using in a little bit. Spoilers. What? Why are people floating? Why? Why? Uh, he looks well. I'm sure he's a good guy. Uh, he has been <laughs> corrupted by the hiss. Which, okay, so they yeah. like take over the person's body? Shit. Yeah. Oh, yes, they do. They really, really do. They take over the person's body, and uh, once they're in there, there's no way to get them out. So that person is gone pretty much. You and can't beyond, save no, it's okay. beyond saving. So, I mean, you were talking about supernatural powers. We're now flinging tables at this hiss. Yeah, so um, this is. She's going to pick up some stuff in a bit. The, the thing she's doing right now, that's called Shield. Right. And uh, the thing she's picked up right now, that's called Launch. So basically what you can do is you can grab stuff like this block and hurl it at the enemies and uh, waste them, as it were. And um, you can upgrade those abilities as well as you progress through the game. And also you can upgrade the gun that she's using. Yeah. So instead of having the magic pocket where you pull out, now I've got a rocket launcher. No. The gun transforms. The gun transforms, yeah. So the gun has several different forms. In this video, you're going to see two. So you're going to see grip, which is like your basic standard pistol kind okay. of type. And you're going to see shatter, which is what she's using right now. Um, thank you. It's not practice, <laughs> by the way. No, yeah, like what? Are you just destroying the environment? Yeah, and, and I love this. The lamp, look at that. Look how pretty the light is. And this is a work in progress, so it's going to look even, even better once it's done. Not to blow my own trumpet or anything, but it is going to look even better once it's done. Is there a limit on how you, much you can use those powers? I'm sorry to refer to it as Bioshock. You know, when you use it, there's a limit, isn't there, on well, plasmas? Is, this, is it like that? Uh, yeah, the abilities do have a cooldown, but some okay. of the stuff has been adjusted for the demo, and like a lot of stuff is yeah. still in progress, so we're developing it. We've done more things since this demo was made that we unfortunately aren't going to be able to show right now, but one of the things that I'm most excited about for now that I can talk about is that you can pick up dead bodies and throw them around. I know, it's, it's a little bit I love bit, it. one of the things I'm creepy. most excited about is picking up dead no. bodies. No, listen, you could do it in Dishonored as well. You can like pick yeah. someone up and then pile and them and on. And then fling them. Yeah, and then fling them. And uh, like I think it's exciting. I think it makes for a, I think it uh, like adds to what we're doing with yeah. Control is that you, everyone can play their own way. So you can play with the service weapon, you can play with the abilities, you can play with a mix and match of both. And uh, also you see her like, properly trashing the place so one thing yeah, always like yeah one thing we always pride ourselves on yeah yeah is the like the reactive environment so yeah. pretty much a lot of things can be interacted with and if you can pick it up you can blow it up you can pick it up you can I like <laughs> like if you saw them like ripping the case shattering the glass on the way yeah. out so it wasn't just oh you no, can tell it can be picked up because it's glowing it's like I no everything Pretty much everything, yeah. What are we we'll seeing here? Okay, so uh, she is cleansing this area world. with a ritual from the negative influence of the hiss. You see how the light is going to change for a little bit, and the, the way we visually represent the hiss is that sort of yes. vibrating, kind of kaleidoscopic light, and now it's gone, and now it's cleansed. And we can walk around the oldest house a little bit more and show you some of the stuff that the Bureau does, which is like basically all this old looking technology. And they basically watch the world for supernatural phenomena and try to, try to contain them and capture them. Are they the good guys or the bad guys? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> They're morally gray, I'd say. Okay, yeah. I mean, so am I. Well, aren't we all, I guess. <laughs> now, in terms of where the game takes place, yeah. the whole game takes place in this building. But it's not that linear, is it? The building itself is like entranceways to other places. The building itself is a shifting place. We call it a world within a location, which yeah, is a yeah. term I really, really love. It helps like, describe it. Yeah. 
because uh, it's like, what does it mean? But the thing is, like, uh, we're Remedy games have always been a little bit linear, but this time we're doing a different <laughs> kind of approach. I said a little bit, all right? No, no, I, like, <laughs> I know it's, it's, it's tough for some people because they get it into their heads that you make games in a certain way, and mm. then you're trying to come out and show that there's a lot more hey. to what you guys There's do. a lot more to it. We're going with an open-ended sandbox kind of style, Never and uh, we're going to put different pathways, like the you just saw some doors. Yeah. Those doors, they're not different ways to get to the end of the level. They lead to different areas of the oldest house. So like a hub? Yeah, well... Oh. Mm, is that a... Kind of. Kind of. OK. This, this looks like it's going to... This here. is going to go well, I'm sure. It's going to be fine. There's just some some floating bodies in the air, but you know, it's nothing we haven't seen before. So this is all a result of what they're, they're, our, our enemies are doing? Yeah, this is all a result of the Hiss invading the Bureau and what Jesse is trying to do is she's trying to contain that. And uh, this mission is about halfway through the game and she's trying to find... Halfway through? Yeah, okay. about halfway through. She's trying to find the chief of security, Rooney, who has gone missing with his entire team in this area of the oldest house that has been taken over by the Hiss and she's trying to get there. Okay, you said you know, it's kind of open-ended. Mm. In terms of the story itself, is that got different endings or is it still we're going towards one end kind of goal? It's all going towards one end, yeah, but once you finish the main campaign, like, you finish the main campaign, sure, but Jessie is still the director. She still has a job that she needs to do, right? So it's not just like credit, credits rolls, thank you for playing. No. You can go back in and yeah. finish things off. And... Yeah, yeah, because we are doing side missions as well along with the main story, so you can technically... Oh, this is this what you're talking about? Yes. So all of a sudden we're somewhere. Yeah, so there's a lot of rituals uh, in the oldest house. That's how it kind of functions. Man. And uh, the hey. agents of the Bureau have learned four times. And then she transported herself to this motel-like area to pass through to a different side of the oldest house. So are we learning more rituals as the game progresses? Is that like an upgrade and unlockable thing? Um, that is kind of, well, Jesse has always had this kind of like natural proclivity for understanding how these things work. Yeah. So yeah, she will be discovering more stuff as the game goes on, yeah. As, as a character, because obviously there is combat, are yeah. there things to unlock and upgrade as we go? We've got the gun, obviously, but... You've got her? the gun, you've got the abilities. Um, the abilities? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so she doesn't get all of them, obviously, at the start, because the game wouldn't be fun if you're just seriously <laughs> OP yeah. from the start. No. Um, she uh, unlocks new abilities using these dangerous items that the Bureau collects and they're called objects of power, right? Okay. Aptly named. <laughs> and uh, they can be anything that's mundane enough and like in the collective consciousness enough the that, uh, like, that uh, it I has a certain amount of power. Right, okay. Are we going to see any, do you reckon? To be here. I have. Maybe. Do you see any in this demo? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, now I think I remember seeing this with you. This yeah. is one of the abilities we're about yeah. to see. Yeah, so uh, like we said, open-ended sandbox and also... Um, oh, so there's a door down there. There's a door down there and there's going to be a door. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's lots of doors. There's lots of doors and they're not all accessible at the start, right? Because as Jesse doesn't start out with all of these abilities, so she can't access some of the parts right. of the oldest house. And uh, as she finds objects of power, she unlocks new abilities and she's able to access those new areas. We're a little bit influenced by Metroidvania in that respect. Oh. Yep. I think that's I think it's a good way of doing it because the game is there then, but you don't want someone running into something that's above the level or out of sync with the story and it just helps there be a progression Jessie? and an oh. unlock. Yeah. Any news? I'm detecting an anomaly. Abnormal energy fluctuations from cell 715 on the now, Panopticon's upper I'm understanding upper level. that there's more it's than just the main story, you right? There hurry. are side quests. Oh my yeah, there are side quests, yeah. Um, so uh, there, there are several allies that you, that Jessie talks to in the oldest house that help her out, depending on the different areas of the oldest house that she is in. And there are also people along the way. So it's not just people who have been taken over by the Hiss. It's not just enemies. There are still like actual people, that, people there that she can help. And uh, you can try to help them, you can try to come back for them later, mm. or you can be a Worse mean, mean God. person and ignore them. Um, yeah, I don't know if I could do that. No, I can't. made it quite visceral, I think. I've, I've seen before, if you, you know, mm. leaving someone behind is not, yeah. not pleasant. Oh, yeah, look. So I guess if you didn't have that ability, you just wouldn't... You wouldn't be able to do this, that. yeah. Now, we're obviously, because the game is still in development, we're seeing this without a HUD. 
Yes. Are you guys going to try and keep things minimal because the game is so beautiful? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. It really is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we are going to try. Again, this is still in development, but we are going to hopefully try and get things minimal. We're not. There's not going to be like waypoints and stuff like that. It's. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of mystery, right? And we want people yeah. to find things out by themselves with not a lot of help from UI and stuff like that because the point of the game is the mystery and the, and uncovering the secrets, not following a waypoint from ecstasy. That looks good. That's new. That looks scary. I <laughs> think that looks good? Not really, no. That, that looks absolutely <laughs> terrifying. I'm terrified by that every time. I d I'm quite glad there's not like the sounds that we've not got like a scary uh, <laughs> jump sound because I don't think I do very well. Right. So where are we? Where are we headed? These are altered items, objects that are. We are headed. I know. Where, I know. Where yeah. This is the. The, possibly the thing that people have been talking about the most since the demo came out. This is the man in the fridge. Yes. Which is also my favorite part of the demo, to be honest. Yeah. So obviously it's still living. You know, the world. The world of people is still here. Some are trapped, and uh, it's just this guy and his fridge. Yeah. He has to watch the fridge, or else something something very very bad will happen. And since there's this, been this whole crisis. He's been left behind. Hey, so and he's, he's got to stay watching the fridge? Yeah. Can we help him? You can, but you don't have to. This is an example of a side mission. So Are we going to help him? No. OK. <laughs> Great. Are you here to take over? Do you think you can even hear him as we sort of walk away? I can't. I'm like, sorry. Wait. Don't leave me here. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I will promise. We be able to, will we be able to go back and find him later? Yes. Yes, we will. We will be able to go back. So in terms of difficulty, you guys have always made very story-driven yep. games. If people do want to really just go for the story, will there be sort of difficulty levels? So you can just knock it down and enjoy the story or go in for that challenge on a higher difficulty. It's really too early to talk about difficulty levels, but uh, there will be, we're trying to balance the game out so that both people who want the, uh, like the hardcore gameplay experience can have a good experience and also people like me who, primarily play it for the story but uh we are not going to like we're not going to be holding your hand through it good good what are these things when are they flying uh they're called drifters and they drift great and they chuck stuff at you yeah and you can also throw a fire extinguisher at them and uh some of those boxes you can blow up a fire extinguisher and have it explode there's a, also a bunch of forklifts around the levels which i think they're very fun to just pick up and throw because you really really feel the weight when you pick them up i think that's important when you want telekinesis to be a key element of the game yeah you have to program it so it feels like you're throwing things of weight yeah that's absolutely and a different object depending what you pick up feels different like when you pick up a metal sheet it's lighter and it moves faster and when you pick up a forklift it's a bit heavy Will you be able to pick up something as heavy as a forklift from the beginning? Or is that something you upgrade? Seven That's a good question. I don't Whoa. think I can answer that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you keep saying, we are still early in yeah. development. A lot of this is still being decided and how yeah. it you know, feels and, and plays. I don't like those bodies. <laughs> they make me very uncomfortable. Oh, this is one of my favorite scenes because it's so, it's so striking and it's so creepy. Uh, striking is a very, very good word for it. Because if you just took the bodies out, it would just be what happened here. But with yeah. the bodies there, it's... And now we're reaching the point that uh, hasn't okay. been shown to the public before. So everybody who's watching this now, this <laughs> is the first time that this piece of gameplay is ever being shown. Visually, that's unreal. I know, right? That you're going to see in a bit. No spoilers. I also love the way 
that she levitates because it feels like it kind of feels like swimming almost it doesn't feel like she's quite got the hang of it which i really like so remember the chief of security rooney that we were yep. looking for that's him okay doesn't look like how i imagined him to look no, he's, he, let's just say he's Damn not it. well anymore. Probably can't be saved. No, definitely not. Another example of how creative you can get with your abilities and the gun and the environment because like I said everything reacts to stuff happening like when he hits the pillar the pillar breaks when you pick something up it spins and rotates powerful enemy and takes a lot of hits to bring him down this isn't technically a boss battle there are going to be much more challenging enemies this isn't in the technically game a boss this battle. isn't technically a boss battle this is just a slightly more powerful enemy that you'll find there are going to be holly if you knew what kind of enemies we have that are actual bosses i'd be worried yeah you would be very worried that is, that is just a little nice little mid boss between static lines. I have the control. <laughs> that is... That's the Black Pyramid. 